Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Sauce, Muddy Outdoors, Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Well, it's the afternoon of the 30th. We're back in the same line that we were in yesterday. We talked about going somewhere else, but we just saw too many deer to try another one spot. We're still gonna try to get Dane on a doe tonight, hopefully multiple does. Anyway, it's about 50 degrees, about the same as yesterday. I think we've got a north-northwest yeah. wind. It's set up perfect wind. Got a, it's a little stronger wind than yesterday, so maybe it won't swirl as much, but hopefully some does will come out early. Give Dane a shot. I'd love to see him kill a couple. I think we've only killed nine does now on the club for the year. I'd like to kill another at least four or five if we can before the season goes out. Wish us luck. Hopefully we'll draw some blood, put some does on the ground tonight. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. It's the evening of January the 6th, and I'm back on the same farm I hunted this morning. I had a great hunt. I ended up seeing two nice bucks, a couple of young bucks, and four does. And the one thing they all had in common is they all went into this block of timber to my left. That's a known bedding area, and we know it's full of deer. I decided to hunt a different stand. I'm closer to the bedding area, but it's a similar setup. I've got a small micro plot right in front of me. The destination feed fields are on top of the hill to my right. So I should be set up perfectly between bed and feed. I'm not gonna be picky this evening. Any four and a half year old buck will do or any adult doe. So that opens our options up a little. I also pulled the cameras when I got down this morning and there were does in this plot this morning. So. Real high odds of seeing some deer. We just gotta hope that they cooperate and get close enough for a shot.
Daddy. Well, that didn't go exactly like I'd hoped. That was one of the bigger bucks on the farm. That's, uh, he's an eight with a main beam that droops down on the right side. They came in from behind me and, uh, actually three bucks so there must have been a hot doe come through here at some point in time but the buck the bigger bucks came into the field I ranged them 40 yards and I held my 40 on about I should I aimed lower that's the bottom line but I put my 40 yard pin uh, about a third of the way up right about his heart and squeezed the trigger and I definitely sailed it high so, pretty sure he ducked, but we'll look at the footage and see. Uh, he was alert, or at least he perked up right before I shot, so. Oh, well. Sure have hunted hard for that opportunity, so. And right here with only uh, one more day of buck season left here in Tennessee, that's, uh, that one may come back to haunt me. But, anyway. January the 6th has been a real good day. That's, I guess, four decent racked bucks we saw today, and that's, see, seven total bucks. So, I hate for it to end that way, but I'm gonna go check the arrow, and I'm 90% sure that I sailed it high, so. Anyway, we'll try again tomorrow. Thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail.